Hi and welcome. It's Peg, and today is a Monday, and we were doing an extra uh, Art Joyous Sharing video since we're all at home and have the time to make some additional art pieces. So, Chelsea and I normally broadcast each Thursday, 10:30 Central Standard Time, on Art Joyous Sharing, which is my sister channel, and um, we're doing some extras this month. So today's video is about making backgrounds or master boards or whatever you want to call it. You can use these in cards, tags. Uh, we are planning to use them for ATC backgrounds. So I'm using kind of a Seth After technique here where he uses layers and layers and layers of paint and a couple of pieces of um, watercolor paper. This is 300 pound watercolor paper good and sturdy and I love it I buy it in a parent sheet and tear it down and I'm just showing the different colors of uh, art fresco paint that I'm using so one of the things that we're doing this month or I'm doing this month is trying to support those small businesses that um, normally would be out teaching or uh, selling in stores or you know we have a number of artists that are struggling just because of this being at home and can't go out and teach and a number of stores that can't have people in to teach and they can't have people in to buy. And so like Ephemera Paducah, I ordered uh, what she calls a sussy, which is a kind of a surprise happy package from her store and I should have posted a picture of what I got from her because it was really pretty awesome. I got some eye zinc products, I got some paints, I got some um, golden acrylic paints, um, just a whole bunch of stuff, ephemera, and it was a lot of fun to get, a lot of fun to open that package and find a surprise. So if you're thinking about anything like that, go support those stores, those people, those artists. Um, it just is going to make a world of difference to them. So I'm going to continue to work here. I will be speeding things up and be back in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm adding some chalk ink. Um, this is from Colorbox, but there are any number of companies that carry chalk inks. And um, yeah, I've had my inks for a long time, so I just want to use the things that I have around. 
I don't want to have to buy a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm using some mark making tools to put some of that mixed media spray on the page. And then I'm going to get out this new product to me, which is eye zinc. Uh, this is a glazing medium. And I'm showing the different colors and what they look like when they're layered up onto a surface. Now, I put a little spot on the back because what you see in the window is not what you get when you glaze because they're translucent and they go right over the top of the surface. So as you layer them up, the colors are not, you know, here's a bright yellow, but by the time you get it over those blues, it's going to blend with the background color and give you a green. And now I'm using a big pencil. These pencils are from, they're Jumbo Jet pencils from Jerry's Artorama. I picked these up when I was down in um, North Carolina, <laughs> Jerry's Artorama this last year with my friends. And we had a good time and I bought some cool products. So um, Jody Ole was the one I think that introduced me to those pencils and they're pretty awesome. And now I'm just layering more of those uh, I think ice glazes onto these pieces. They when you have those scratches in the surface it just kind of falls into them and it makes really interesting effects. So I'm just going to continue to layer and layer and layer, making more backgrounds, and then I'll end up cutting some of these pieces down for ATCs. Uh, Shell has her video out there for you too, so be sure and check out what she did on her video. And you'll see these papers come out again in June because I will be using some of these backgrounds to make ATCs in June. So um, my goal is to collage and do all kinds of things on top of these parent papers that I'm creating. And now I'm pulling out some of those new uh, Seth After embossing powders. I don't really want to uh, emboss on, on top of these acrylics because I don't want to heat them with a hot tool, but I'm uh, warming up a heat tool and um, you know, not getting it too hot, <laughs> trying not to get it too hot, but um, in the same sense, I want, I should have done the embossing first, but I didn't. That's okay. Just going to continue to play on these papers. So I want to thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you join us on Art Joy Sharing. Remember, if you are not a member and you want to join, that you need to answer the questions for that Facebook group. And any stencils that I'm using on here today, the stamps are from Seth After, the stencils are from Stencil Girl. Uh, if you want to go shopping, I have links down below in the description box. Remember that if you use my Amazon, um, there is a little kickback to the channel here so that I can continue to buy things too. And uh, I do have other affiliate links down there too. I just want to be totally upfront with you. I do have affiliate links. So um, that's how you can help support my channel and help me with um, providing this for you. Thanks guys. And I will see you again soon.